laying down the maidens like they're two-bit whores, right here on Stu's channel. Greetings, and welcome back to Stu's channel. Yeah, I've got to uh, charge some batteries up, and uh, I figured I'd charge them up out here, and then go in for lunch. But before that, I wanted to uh, show you something new. Check it out. Yeah, look at this. Look at this thing. You know that rocket company, Estes? They make this thing. It's called the Proto X. Runs about 40 bucks. And uh, I got a couple of things I can show you that are pretty neat. But let me give you a little sense of scale. That's a DX8. This battery, well, it'll give you an idea. Here's my finger. Okay, this thing is so. <laughs> This thing is so tiny. Actually, what I should do is give you some real scale of something. So what I'll do is I'll go over here and I'll, I don't know, I'll get a battery out of here or something. Let me see. Oh, this one looks good. Yeah. Oh, it's almost charged. We're almost there. Here's a 1300 milliamp 3S battery. Mm-hmm. And of course for later, you know, I'm going to uh, attach my GoPro to this and uh, take some video. Maybe get a little FPV action uh, going with this. I've just got to attach the mount onto here to make sure that, uh, you know, this doesn't fall off in flight. At any rate, here is the, uh, here's the transmitter. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa! Look at this thing. I'm having to do this one hand, but... Here's the transmitter. Uh, you get the idea of scale. Interesting, huh? I know. Does it fly good? Actually, it does. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll get a flight here. And uh, then what I'll do is I'll attach my uh, GoPro to it. And then I'll get another flight and I'll show you how that video goes. And maybe we can get some footage uh, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, on a more serious note, now where did I put that quadcopter? Wait, there it is. I found it. Uh, on a serious note, since we've had fun here with the batteries, see this little guy right here? Yes, that little battery. Noticing this phone doesn't like this focus very much. This little tiny battery can actually go on this. And what you have to do is you have to take the body off. The connection inside is exactly the same. So then you have to rig this up. You'll have to take off weight, the other battery, rig this up, and then uh, fly it off the bottom. But it does fly, and it does it flies far longer, and it is far faster. Uh, it's pretty cool. I do recommend getting one of these because you're looking at about 20 minutes to charge this thing, and I'm going to show you in a minute the flight time on it. Uh, it's about mm, it's about four minutes from what I can tell. I'll have to time it just by the sense. I'm, I'm thinking it's four minutes. On this, it's much longer, but uh, it does fly outside, not in any great wind, obviously. It's a great indoor flyer. It's pretty resilient to damage, but look at this thing for a minute. Here's what I wanted to show you. Let me zoom a little bit and give you an idea what's going on. This is a circuit board. The entire thing, besides the external you know, components, motors, props, the body, it's a circuit board. It is the housing for the motors. It's it's <laughs> it's pretty smart. Tiny. All right. Blues the front, reds the back. Great. 
This is what I was talking about. You can take the body off. This is the battery. See the connection there? Yes. Take off this battery and you mount this one. See? Pretty easy. Uh, it's pretty flexible plastic. I don't suspect that this is going to break for quite some time. Eventually it will become brittle. That's a given but it is pretty flexible comes on and off pretty easy uh, but there's the deal I'll show you with it mounted hope to see you back here on Stu's channel